Well, my name is Edwin B. Meister, Jr., and I'm retired, uh, but I used to be president and general manager of St. Louis Car Company. The St. Louis Car Company is the history of American streetcars. Edwin Meisner, Jr. took over after his father led the company to greatness. I was the luckiest guy alive. You know, uh, many of my associates that went to work for their fathers, uh, it didn't always work out too well, but I, I'm just the opposite. It worked out great. He was a wonderful guy, and uh, we got along great, and he raised me from a pup to follow in his footsteps, and I did, and I loved it. This is a PCC car. It was a new development. It became very popular uh, in many cities. Uh, so we got a lot of orders and a lot of repeat orders. So I think the, uh, the car company and the PCC car kind of go hand in hand for people that know this industry. You know, it gives you a sense of pride uh, that equipment that we built, uh, you know, back in the 30s and 40s uh, is still operating. Unfortunately, they're not as many of them as there used to be. We built close to 5,000 PCC cars for most of the major cities in the United States. I'm sorry to say most of them uh, are no longer in service, but on the other hand, uh, some of them are in service by their second and third owner. And uh, th that makes you feel proud. It's good equipment, properly maintained. It can almost last forever. Well, we think it's better looking than any bus I ever saw. Uh, we think it's a classy design and uh, even though this thing is, uh, well, I guess pushing 50 years old, I still think it has a, a classic look to it. The creations of the St. Louis Car Company played a role all across our country. Some carried troops. Some were for personal travel with an eye toward the elaborate. But most were the workhorses of urban transportation. Whether you stepped aboard in New York or New Mexico, you stepped aboard a St. Louis car. People think of it as a streetcar shop, and it was but it also was a very diversified factory and had many capabilities. This is a uh, Ch Chicago Transit Authority Rail Rapid Transit car built by St. Louis Car Company. Someone came up with the idea of salvaging uh, components uh, from unneeded streetcars that they wanted to take off the street uh, and building rail rapid transit cars that they could use on their new uh, exclusive right away. So they shipped the old cars to us. They were built by our competitor, Pullman, and we scrapped them but we salvaged the trucks and I think the seats and perhaps some lights and other components, but we built brand new bodies. And then we reinstalled those uh, expensive components. And so for all practical purposes, they had a new car, uh, but at a lot lower cost. The sad fact is that uh, there are really no full-blown car builders left in the United States. I mean, we, we were about the last to go. Uh, uh, our Canadian friends have a, an assembly plant in New York, and the Germans have an assembly plant in, I think, California, but most of the work's done overseas. It's an industry that didn't really survive in the United States. What it meant to our family, it was our life. I mean, the company was it. Uh, I was born and raised to go into it, and I did, and I loved it. The next time you step aboard an old PCC car, Remember where it was born. Remember Edwin Meisner, Jr. You'll still find PCC cars in operation in cities around the U.S. Thanks for being with us, and please join us next time for more Tracks Ahead.